Achieving cult hero status at one club during a career is a commendable accomplishment. However, you have to be very unique to pull it off at two. In six years playing for Manchester United and Everton in English football, Andre Kanchelskis accomplished just that. More than 20 years after leaving England for Florentina, the flying Russian is still fondly remembered by the red half of Manchester and the blue of Merseyside. So, how good was Andrei Kanchelskis? Let's find out. Kanchelskis joined United on March the 26, 1991, and at that time, no one knew anything about him really. But Alex Ferguson saw the £650,000 transfer from Shakhtar Donetsk as a justifiable risk after seeing him play for the Russian under-21 team on video. Kanchelskis had to wait two months for a chance to play he finally did so in United's 1990-91 season's penultimate league game against Crystal Palace when the majority of the starting lineup was rested in preparation for the European Cup Winners' Cup final against Barcelona in Rotterdam a few days later. But Kanchelskis didn't make his Old Trafford debut until the first game of the 1991-92 campaign against Notts County. The picture on Peter Schmeichel firing a missile over a giddy left-back's head into Kanchelskis' path was one which the Stratford end learned to appreciate. His preference for going direct meant that he was never a tricky winger, but he was still able to go past defenders by going inside or outside before using his arms and upper body strength to block opponents' paths back towards goal. The Russians' first season was an outstanding success, according to Ferguson, as he made 32 first division matches and scored five goals. But unlike his runs off the right touchline, learning English took far longer for him to master. As was customary for English fans, Kanchelskis had the kind of pace that allowed him to burst up the wings with the ball. His signature move was to run along the sideline, turn and cut in at the last moment just in time to cross the ball into the striker or shoot himself. Although Kanchelskis was a winger who could beat the fullback one-on-one, -on -one, his greatest strength may have been his speed. Kanchelskis was very rapid. He and Lee Sharp and Ryan Giggs were the top three wingers for Manchester United in the first few seasons of the Premier League. The direct wing play style of Kanchelskis was ideal for counter-attacking football. Although he is rarely acknowledged as such, Kanchelskis may have been the first attacker of his kind to join the Premier League with it just 13 foreign players on his opening day in 1992. He established a model for the versatile contemporary forward long before it actually materialised, bearing no resemblance to the wide players British football had produced up to that point. It is safe to say that he pioneered the way modern wingers play today. Sir Alex Ferguson is renowned for adapting tactically over time and managing teams over the years with diverse methods. And the team with Kanchelskis was one that mostly relied on the counter-attack. When United recovered the ball from an, an opponent's attack, Kanchelskis used his speed to good use, making runs down the right side to receive passes from midfield. On one such instance is what resulted in United being given a penalty in the 1994 FA Cup final. Kanchelskis' ability to react quickly, avoid being flagged for being offside, and intercept well-timed passes in front of the defence tremendously aided his runs off the ball. Even goalie Peter Schmeichel started some of their counter-attacking moves. Schmeichel was renowned for the lengths to which he could throw the ball. As a result, counter-attacks would occasionally start with Schmeichel throwing the ball out to Kanchelskis on the right, who would then take the ball forward and cross or pass into Mark Hughes. For instance, Kanchelskis' opening goal for United in a hard-fought 2-3 win over Queen's Park Rangers was set up by Schmeichel's long throw, which gave the winger plenty of room to run into and score in the box. One time in the 1994 FA Cup semi-final against Oldham Athletic, Kanchelskis showed that he was good with both feet. Paul Lins passed the ball to him, then he galloped from one wing to the other and shot with his weaker left foot into the upper left corner. The goal was described as a personal crusade by commentator John Moss. Kanchelskis had a variety of ways to get in on the goals. You could play a diagonal ball from the left to meet a running Kanchelskis on the other flank, who would then dart into the box to shoot. Kanchelskis was very comfortable shooting while either making a run from the right side into the penalty area or drifting inside with the ball. As a winger in the Premier League in the early 1990s, Kanchelskis, Giggs and Sharp stood out because of how they hit double figures in goals. 
Kanchelski scored 36 goals for United and he did so in two of his four complete seasons with the club. Kanchelski, Giggs and Sharp scored 10, 17 and 11 goals across all competitions in the 1993-94 season respectively. Kanchelski raised the bar in this regard the next season, finishing as United's top league scorer with 14 goals after Eric Cantona was handed a severe nine-month ban from football for that kung fu kick on a Crystal Palace fan. Although United lost the league title to Blackburn Rovers and the FA Cup to Everton as Cantona's suspension proved even more damaging. Also notably, Ferguson refused to play him near the end of the campaign when he submitted a transfer request. Then he went on to become Everton's most expensive signing at the time as they submitted an offer of £5 million for him. He quickly established himself as the greatest right winger in the league and won over the Everton fans' affection thanks in large part to his two goals at Anfield and a 2-0 victory over arch-rivals league. He continued his trend of relentless runs down the right side and powerful shots. His tenure there was brief though since the Toffees wanted to profit from him and sent him to Florentina in Serie A. In the remaining 10 games of the season, Kanchelski scored 10 goals, including a hat-trick against Sheffield Wednesday in a 5-2 victory. Many of these goals involved him dribbling inside, where defenders were happy to show the right footer onto his left foot before slamming the ball home with his left. Ironically, despite earning 59 caps for three separate national teams during his career, Kanchelski never played for his native nation. Prior to playing for the short-lived CIS and Euro 92, he began his career with the Soviet Union, where he scored the final goal in the nation's history. Kanchelskis was able to declare for Russia after the event since they were recognized as the team's legitimate successor. Although we never had the luxury of watching Kanchelskis play at a World Cup or regularly in the Champions League, he had the talent, flair and childlike exuberance deserving of the biggest stages in the game. During his four years at Old Trafford, Andrei Kinchelskis won two Premier League titles, contributed significantly to the first-ever United double, won the League Cup and the European Super Cup, and he was top scorer for Everton in his only complete season at Goodison. So, what do you think about Andrei Kinchelskis? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments section. That's all for today. Thank you for spending some time with us. If you found this video interesting, please make sure to hit the like button and the notifications bell. Also, make sure to watch this video in the league. And if you like our content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. On the screen now should be another good video worth watching. So click on that video and we will see you in the next.